in Florida. Our next speaker is from Miami, Representative Michael Beleka. He was born in Miami, raised in Miami, but he's a first generation American. If you go on his website, there's a beautiful line about his parents coming here to provide a better life for him and his siblings. And he's done that. He's an entrepreneur. And last week, there's, there's bills that have gone through the Senate. It's only gone through one committee meeting in the House. It's gone through three Senate committee meetings, and it's passed like crazy. I think you guys know a little bit about it because you've sent a lot of emails up here about it. But it's basically corporate welfare for billionaire sports owners. Michael Beleka stood up in that committee meeting and tried to put amendment on a, after amendment after amendment on this bill to slow this process down and to get people to think about what they're doing. So I'd like to introduce Michael Belecta. He's a good friend of ours, and he's definitely not for corporate cronyism and corporate welfare. Thank you so much, and, and thank you so much for the signs. I'm reading it, no tax dollars for the stadium. Because how many of you are here today because you believe in our free markets? How many of you here today are you concerned because these aren't the free markets our founders and Adam Smith had talked about? And, and I share your concern because what's going on now with these selective tax breaks, with a $400 million tax rebate and tax increase that inures unproportional benefit to a man that's worth $4.4 billion is worth standing up for. And when you look at what our free market is underpinned by. When you look at Adam Smith talking about the productivity and the wealth that would be unleashed by a free market when he wrote Wealth of Nations, he also wrote the book before that called The Theory of Moral Sentiments that says our free markets rest on private virtue that lends itself to public virtue. And the great capitalists that built this country understood their role in this great American experiment, that their role as these proud capitalists was always to be supported and propped up by this idea of public virtue, that they were stewards of this experiment. And somewhere along the lines, when you look today, the businessman of today, too many of them decide that the way to create wealth for them and for themselves is not through taking just risks and creating a better product and creating value for their customers, but why do all that if you could work a system and increase your wealth by coming here to Tallahassee and getting a special tax break? So, so what I ask you today, because it's so nice to see you here, see everyone here, is as you go through the Capitol behind us is make your voices known. Make your voices known that everyone deserves a shot. The little guy, the entrepreneur that's struggling, and all of our policy and all that we stand for should be standing for that free market system that gives an equal opportunity for achievement to be rewarded with success. And not just an opportunity to those that can afford to have an army of lobbyists or special interests up here advocating for themselves. So I implore you, lend your voices. I don't want to be one of the few voices that were out there. I think that the issue is known, the issue has been made public, and I look at you guys as the Calvary. Go to work. Yeah. Thank you. You know, you know we, we don't uh, employ Occupy around here very often. Uh, but if you want to talk about the 1%, billionaire sports owners and millionaire athletes are the 1%. And to be taking money out of our general revenue fund to finance a billionaire's place of business doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Just say no. Just say no to corporate welfare. That's right.